Welcome back to another video. Today I have my guide to getting into older anime series. But first I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to stay up to date with all my latest anime reviews and discussions. So getting into older anime is something that can be a bit difficult for certain people because newer anime has a very crisp picture with very bright colors that just pop. Plus it's all in HD. Older anime, that wasn't really the case. It was a bit uh, darker and it didn't have as bright of colors and there, the animation of it was a bit inconsistent for its time because they didn't know as much as they know today. They didn't have the same technologies back then. All of the anime that I have today in this video are from the 80s. I was going to make it easy on you and pick a few from the 90s, but I have faith in you that you can watch some of these and really enjoy them, even though they're from the 80s. And I know some people will feel that that is ancient. And and these anime that I picked, they're all movies except for one series, so you can just sit down for a quick experience and watch it. And some of these I picked because they're beautiful, but others I picked simply because I want you to forget about the animation and focus on how well the story is written. The first anime I'd like to recommend you is Area 88. It's a short OVA that's a bit more realistic. Those of you who are big Top Gun fans out there, I know there's a lot of you, you could probably really enjoy this. And then anybody who's really into realistic, or militaristic anime, then definitely check this one out. It's not so much about the action or the explosions or the battles or anything. It's mostly about the character development. But meanwhile, they do have some pretty interesting fights. Like there were times when a plane would have to turn upside down to shoot something off the bottom of another plane. And they do some really interesting maneuvers here. However, there are a few maneuvers that are a bit, you know, they're movie-fied and they don't really make a whole lot of sense. But the story and the characters were all well-written. It's about this guy who's obligated, he's tricked into becoming a mercenary, and he's stuck at this base, killing people. He's flying through the skies, he's basically a soldier for hire, and he's flying through and he's killing other soldiers for other countries for money, and once he raises enough money, he gets to go back to Japan, and he gets to see the love of his life, and this this big development from there. I really love Area 88, and I think you will too. Next, I'd like to recommend Grave of the Fireflies, which is a Studio Ghibli movie. However, you could watch any Ghibli movie movie from the 80s and be fine with that. They're all pretty good from what I've seen and I definitely recommend Grave of the Fireflies because it's based on a true story. It's another war story back from World War II where a young boy is uh, trying to survive with his little sister after they're sent from their home because they were bombed and their mother died. So they're pretty much on their own here. It's a very sad movie. The saddest movie, one of the saddest movies that I think I've ever seen and this transcends anime here. It's such a sad story and to even know that this was based on a true story, it really makes you sad. Uh, it really pulls on all your heartstrings when you're watching this. You will cry when you watch that. It is guaranteed. But moving on to a lighter note, we have Akira. Akira is easily the biggest budget anime movie from the 80s, and its animation still stands up to today. You can watch Akira in its remaster on Blu-ray, and that's probably what I would recommend. Uh, the reds are a bit too bright for my taste with that, but it's still a very nice looking picture picture quality, and that's the way I'd recommend to watch Akira. I'm sure everyone here has heard about it by now. Of course, the manga story is superior, and if you're a fan of Akira, then you should definitely check out the manga to that. The next movie I'd like to recommend is The Dagger of Kamui. I recently reviewed this, and I urge everyone to check it out. There's a reason why I made that review. Just go watch it. It's just to spread the appreciation for how beautiful that anime is. It was ahead of its time. You like Madhouse animation today, you should definitely check out some of its roots with Dagger of Kamui. It was produced by Madhouse and directed by Rintaru, two superstars of anime colliding with this, and of course the story had a bit more to be desired, but overall it was a movie that was ahead of its time, except for the story was, uh, you know, it could have been better. Next is another anime movie that I recently reviewed called Angel's Egg. This, like I said in my review, is basically like an ink blot of anime. Everybody's gonna look at this and they're gonna wonder what they're looking at. Everybody's gonna come away with a different experience thinking different things about it and it's a really enjoyable movie I went wild watching this I watched it like four times the other week I've seen it uh, years back I watched it a while ago and it's something that you really have to watch numerous 
times to even get a basic understanding for it, even if there is an understanding. This is a movie that will not uh, diminish with time. This is something that I think 10, 20, 30 years from now, people will still be looking at and trying to uncover the secrets of this movie. Also, it's really beautiful. It's got this uh, con really controlled art style to it. They're trying to make it exactly how it looks. It's really dark with this uh, town that they're going through, and it's really a beautiful movie to watch. Definitely check it out. The last anime I really want to recommend to you is 30 some episodes long, so it's not really that long at all. It is the original Macross. Even if you're not a fan of Mecha series, this is something that is going to strike the heartstrings of anybody. It's a really enjoyable series, whether you love Mech, whether you don't love Mech, or if you even hate Mech. I can imagine there are some people out there who hate Mecha series, but really enjoyed Macross. It's my favorite Mecha of all time, even above all of this Gundam right here. It is my favorite mecha, and I really love the way that the story progresses, that it's this controlled pace where it's kind of slow, but then it'll speed up and then slow down, allowing it to be action-packed, but also have this uh, slice of life element almost, where you get so much character development here, and then there's this love triangle. It was very well written. So hopefully you watch some of these and enjoy them. I'm pretty sure many of you will, and the whole point of me making this video and recommending these specific anime is so that it will build up your tolerance. I didn't pick the most beautiful anime from the 80s out there. I wanted to pick some that also had a good story that make, could make you forget about the animation and build up a tolerance for watching that sort of thing. And maybe after a while, you will like 80s anime as much as I do. I didn't grow up watching 80s anime. I grew up watching Voltron, which was from the 80s, I think. If I think maybe early 80s. I can't remember. But now, 80s animation is easily one of my favorite animation styles out there of anime. Thank you for watching. If this helps you out let me know in the comment section below also be sure to subscribe and let me know what you think about some of these anime that i mentioned so of course as always thank you for watching and all your support with the likes and comments be sure to check out my top 10 favorite anime series of all time and also my top 10 favorite anime movies thanks for watching i'll see you next time